What's going on, family? It's Dominique Williams here, CEO and co-owner of Instrumental Style Processing Institute. I um, just wanted to get on here, you know, and just touch base with y'all. It's been a little minute, probably been about two, three weeks since I made my last video or last vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm still in the process of uh, looking for a travel contract. I just got two offers. Well, over the last couple of weeks, I got a few different offers. Um, had to turn down a few due to, uh, you know, just the the cost, you know, the pay, how much they were paying, the pay rate, or just, it was just too out of my way. Right now, I'm looking for something. Um, if I'm a, if I'm a drive four plus hours anywhere, then they, you know, the, it has to be, <laughs> it has to make sense. Um, and some of these places is like, I'm gonna have to spend money on a rental. I'm gonna have to spend money on uh, Airbnb or somewhere to stay, a hotel, whatever the case may be. So uh, I can drive somewhere if it's less than four hours away. I'm not driving nowhere if it's over four hours away. So I'm kind of in a dilemma right now um, because I've been offered places that's over eight, over four hours away, but the money doesn't add up or make sense, especially if I'm gonna have to get pay for a rental and uh, somewhere to stay. Now, if it's less than four hours away, I can drive there, take my own car, and all I gotta worry about is the somewhere to stay. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, I just got an offer in North Carolina and in Rhode Island. Um, last week, I got one from, uh, one in Georgia, like Dublin, Georgia, wherever that is. I looked it up, it was like four and a half hours from Atlanta. And when I was looking up like places to stay, all I was seeing was like campers and stuff on people's farms and places that look like black people don't belong, honestly. So I was like, yeah, no, turn that down. And it wasn't paying much anyway. So, um, I, I just hate being like pressured to make a decision like the same day, that's what I don't like, so. My my recruiter knows by now. I'm not make. I can't make the decision, like right then and there. Give me at least a day, 24 hours, 48 hours, something. I gotta, you know, do my due due diligence and seeing if it's how how much a, a hotel or Airbnb is going to be. Is it affordable? Um, is it worth it? And just a few different things I gotta consider. What's the neighborhood like? What's parking like? Um, because oh, because I don't want to um. Like I even got offered a job in New York, but it was overnight. I'm not working in New York overnight. Um, but my recruiter just hit me up saying that they might be willing to uh, do evening shift. So I can do an evening shift in New York. That'd be two hours away. Rhode Island is about four hours away. North Carolina is about eight hours away. So that's where I'm at right now with those three. Um, but yeah, just trying to figure it out what makes the most sense. Like I said, what's the neighborhood like? Parking, New York, we know parking is going to be an issue. Um, so, uh, I might just, like, if I was to go to Rhode Island, they got a lot of, like, rooms available for rent. And honestly, I can do that temporarily, but I really don't feel comfortable doing it right now. Um, so, I was looking at hotels. Uh hotels is anywhere from like for a month anywhere from like two to twenty five hundred two thousand to twenty five hundred airbnbs would be like pretty much like uh eight like anywhere from 15 to two thousand um but then you got to deal with the lack of privacy and like uh and, and things like that people living in the house and like i don't mind that at all i've done that stayed in people guest suites or garage turned into apartments whatever you want to call it i did that um so that's not a problem it's just like i don't know it's just i I, <laughs> I don't know but yeah that's where i'm at man um over here still got to do stuff with the school classes started this week so uh we actually just had our morning class just finished up in here um i'm over here doing payroll gotta go pay rent for the you know to pay the lease and things like that so it's a lot man i'm still trying to run a business on uh still gotta you know find a job and things like that it's been almost a month since i haven't worked yeah it's been a month since i haven't worked 
So, um, yeah, I got to make a decision, like, by the end of the day or by, like, 3 o'clock, pretty much. So, I'm just waiting to get the payment package back mm -hmm. from my recruiter so I can kind of compare them and see what's what. Uh, but, yeah, so it might be New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island. Um, but I got options, and I've been submitted to a bunch of other places. Uh, I'm guessing since it's holiday, people want to, like, if their contracts end, they just taking a little break for the holiday, which is understandable. But, um, yeah, I'm here, man. Um, you know, just trying to stay focused, trying to stay motivated, trying to stay hungry. Um, I'm not going to lie, but I got a little lazy, um, you know, probably the past couple of weeks or not the, well, this week I've been doing good. Last week I've been doing good. But the week before that, I got a little lazy. So, um, I'm back though. I'm back on my ish. Um, you know, just getting work done. Got my little handy dandy notebook and just crossing out things I need to do and things like that. Um, so yeah. But when looking for a travel contract, just make sure you consider you know, location, how far it is from the facility, um, parking, uh, you know, is it, does it have a kitchen? Is a kitchen available? How many people staying in the, the place, the building or the house or whatever, just depending on if other people is staying there uh, or if you're staying at a hotel, how far is it from the location? Can you cook in a hotel? Do they got, a, you know, the kitchen and things like that? So it's just different things you got to consider um what else i think that's it though man just you know if you guys have any specific questions about you know how to save lives travel and make money in the healthcare industry without a degree in only six months you know feel free to reach out uh you can visit you know you can email me directly uh at domw2164 at gmail.com or you can person, I mean, or you can, uh, you know, just visit our website and learn more about sterile processing, schedule your free information session. Uh, our website is www.ispi.us. Um, right now we got, this is our second largest class. We got 16 students in this class. Our largest class was 19 students, but not all 19 graduated. I think out of that 19, 14 of them graduated. So we can get all 16 of our current students to graduate then this would be our largest class that our largest graduation class of 16 students but i'm really confident about this group um it's an older group um our range of students range from like 25 to 45 sometimes 50 uh in this class we actually got a a young lady who's who's probably who's older than that but um yeah, man, this is just something you can do if you're interested, looking for, if you're interested in the healthcare, but don't, don't know exactly what yet, you know, we work with all the different nurses, surgeons, technicians. So you kind of got to, you kind of get a feel and behind the scenes, if this is for you or not, thought I wanted to do nursing until I started doing style processing. You know, if you're interested um, in traveling, you can do that uh, as a travel tech, you can travel to different states, countries, and, you know, make money all while doing it. Uh, so, you know, if anybody got any questions and let me know and anything of anything y'all want me to talk about, whether it be business, whether it be stale processing, I need some topics, y'all. So help me out. Um, what else? I hope everybody voted. It's like, nah, <laughs> I ain't voting. Um, and that's just my, listen, do what y'all do. Teach his own. But, um. Me personally, I'm not voting until I can afford me a few politicians on the payroll. If you know, you know. All them politicians is on somebody's payroll or lobbying for somebody. So um, until I can afford that, until I'm that successful where I can afford that, then I'm not voting. Because it's like, for what? Um, you know, do all this voting and, you know, nothing happens or whatever the case may be. And. Uh, it's all an illusion, honestly, because my thing is, who do all the politicians go to for help? Business owners, right? Who got the control over certain neighborhoods and certain sections and, and products or whatever the case may be? Business owners, right? So why focus on being a politician when I can focus on being a business owner and then I can eventually, uh, you know, then the politicians will eventually come from come to me 
with proper propositions or even if I go to them, you know, I, I have them on my payroll or, or uh, lobby for me or whatever the case may be. I just, you know, don't want to get too caught up in the, the smoke and mirrors because we in some crazy times right now and, you know, it's just, don't get me too deep into it, but you know, it's all an illusion, man. This politics stuff is politics and then there's politics. So you just gotta be mindful and again, to each his own, to each his own. I'm not telling nobody not to vote. I'm telling you, I'm not voting until I can afford me a few politicians on the payroll. Um, and they can lobby for whatever policies and things I need or want changed. Um, and eventually work my way up into that if that's something I still, you know, might not ever even want to be a politician, but um, yeah, especially in my city, it's just politics is weird in Camden. Um, and I don't want nothing to do with it. I've always understood the assignment. I've always understood that, you know, I would have to go outside of my city to bring resources to my city instead of trying to take from my city. And that's what I see a lot of people doing, just trying to take from our people from the city and not pouring into the city. So what I'm gonna do is Robin Hood style. So, I mean, but it is what it is. Again, to each his own. Uh, uh, but yeah, man. Again, if you guys want to talk, want me to talk about anything, how I started the school, you know what? I'm gonna do a vlog on um, how I started the school, the process. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly. Cause trust me, it may look good right now, and you know, you might believe we have something special right now, and that's because you see it. But before anybody seen anything, I had to believe it. And, you know, that came with a lot of, you know, good and bad. Um, I lost a lot of people and they ain't even dead. Um, I lost a lot of money. Lost myself in the, in, in the process, you know, just mentally. You know, so it's, it's a lot that comes with starting a business, that's, especially at school. Like I went from hating school to starting a school or owning a school. So it's not easy. You know, it's not easy at all, especially during these times. Like, and... To be honest, what we almost in our third year, and for the first three to five years, me and my partner can't make a dollar from the business, so I ain't making no money. And with me not working right now, I'm not making no money. So that's a lot of sacrifices I had to make, I had to max out my 401k, and so many other different things we can talk about later. But um, yeah, man, I just got to do what I got to do. And even now, with me trying to find a travel contract or looking for travel contracts, it's like I don't even have the money to pay for my room and board the first couple weeks, right? So what I gotta do, I gotta move some money around. I gotta make some sacrifices. I gotta do what I gotta do. Like, I don't want ever, nobody to think because I have a school that I'm making money or I got it all figured out. No, this is a journey and it's gonna take at least 10 years to build the brand and I, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. You know, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm not doing it for the attention or whatever the case may be. This stuff is bigger than me, way bigger than me. The best feeling in the world is knowing when we started this business two years ago and we already got almost 20 people working full time, full time start processing technicians. We've had over 50 people graduate from our program. You know, multiple people like uh like people are certified now. They have a career like I, it, I can't tell you how when, you know, last year, one of my students. He uh, called me and was just damn near crying like, yo, man, this, you know, thank you all so much. This changed my life. This changed my family life, life. And Christmas is going to be good this year because of it. You know, those are the things I do it for. And, and people uh, just, you know, when, every month I call my students to make sure everybody's good. If there's anything we can do more or less of, better, whatever the case may be. But most of the time they turn into eventing sessions. It's like people or therapy, like they're waiting for me to call them and be like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? And they just let it all out. And I'm okay with that. That's what I do it for, you know? So style processing ain't for everybody. Biz starting a business ain't for everybody, but find out what's for you or not. What's your why? What's your purpose? We all have a purpose. Unfortunately, some people got a purpose to be bad too. We all have a purpose. So <clears throat> we just got to hold on, keep going, keep praying, keep pushing. Consistency is the secret. 
Consistency is the secret no matter what. Uh, I don't care what kind of business it is, what kind of education it is. Just keep going, man. When you don't know what you're doing, you don't know how, whatever, you, you don't know nothing. Just keep going, man, because I can't tell you guys enough. I didn't know how to start a school. I didn't know where to start or which way to think. Nothing. Me and my partner met for a year and a half straight. But before I even, mind you, backstory, before I even met with my partner, I was building this thing for at least a year. Just my ideas, what I thought, my visions, how I visited it. Then I met with my partner and she just helped me bring it to life. And, you know, for a year and a half straight after that, me and her met every Sunday. We used to have brunch. Some days we didn't even, you know, some days we didn't even know what we was talking about, what we was meeting about. But guess what? We was consistent. And because we was consistent, we started finding different things. And every week we, oh, this week it was insurance or the curriculum or, you know, just different things. You got to, your mind is going to think about all the things you can learn or you can gain from it. And all the things that can go right instead of all the things that can go wrong. Because when you're thinking about all the things that can go wrong, you, you ain't even going to be able to fathom how easy it is to do some of these things. Like, it's not that hard to start a school. So, again, man, if y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, and I'm also looking for someone, an uh, editor, like someone that edit videos. I have a lot of content that just need to be chopped up and screwed and put out there. So, um, if you guys know any editors, visual editors, let me know. <clears throat> Someone that's willing to grow, work pro bono, and, you know, be a part of this team, be a part of this vision, because we are making, we are making some things happen. Again, we got at least 20 students working full time right now. We got partnerships with at least four local hospitals. Um, we're in the process of getting a partnership with a, a hospital in Virginia. Um, so it's it's going to grow. We want to start other uh, schools and other locations. So we're going to need people to run those schools and, um, you know, things like that. So, yeah, man, I'm, I don't have all the answers. I don't even want to act like I have all the answers. But together we can figure this thing out. So I'm here. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, whether it be about sterile processing, how to start a business, credit, investing, things like that, because I'm... My, my my investments are, in, are are online like that too like that too so i'm just saying man um yeah nah but get with me y'all um i think that's it i think my mouth is getting dry and i'm like parched over here i don't know why i'm so parched but i'm out man gotta finish this payroll yeah and this is something people don't even be thinking about sitting here doing payroll and i use the same ADP. I'm sure everybody heard of ADP. I use ADP. And you know, that stuff ain't cheap, but you know, invest in your business, invest in yourself, bet on yourself, and make it do what it do, man. Peace. I'm out.